Hi, you guys. Welcome back. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Before Christmas, I was really trying to be on a roll with my vlogging and videos and, you know, just staying in touch with you guys, which was actually a lot of fun. It's kind of, you know, it's a lot of work, but it's actually a lot of fun. My dog, as soon as I hit record, my dog starts howling. Ciao. Bosco. Hey, knock it off. Ciao. Anyway, so, yeah, I know y'all haven't seen me in a minute. <clears throat> and I wasn't even really sure if I was going to come back to vlogging after the new year. Um, but I feel like because of what I went through, <laughs> I needed to come back with a vlog or a chit chat, get ready with me or something. So yeah, your girl caught COVID. Omarion came to kick it with me, you know, a good 10, 11 days ago. Okay. So I kind of have mixed feelings right now. I'm feeling better, obviously, because your girl was out for the count. I was down in the bed. I was in the bed for like nine days. I really started feeling symptoms where I knew I was getting sick like Christmas Eve um, or the day before Christmas Eve. You know, you kind of have a little tickling your throat or whatever, a little chill and for me I, w I was like you know it's raining i'm a cali girl whenever the weather change i start feeling weird anyway so you know i was like okay i feel like i might be getting a little cold or something and then um on christmas day yeah couldn't even get out the bed i was completely down <laughs> throat hurting headache body ache chills fever everything you name it okay um and so just as each day progressed so i miss christmas eve i miss christmas okay after all of my decorating and excitement and everything honey it's like i feel like i completely missed christmas i didn't even i didn't get it. your girl didn't know so the whole week after christmas in between new years your girl down for the count in the bed and each day I felt like I was getting a new symptom okay each day it was like okay so today is diarrhea day okay so today is projectile vomiting day <laughs> yeah it's, I can laugh about it now but honey it was not pretty um you know and then I broke out with a rash all over my body. Rash it up, right? So, yeah, it, it's been rough for your girl. But, you know, it is what it is. Please, somebody, please explain to me how I caught COVID. I mean, I'm vaccinated, just in case you don't know. Double vaxxed up over here, okay? <laughs> Definitely gonna get my booster. But, yeah, somebody, please tell me how... I, every, every time I left the house, I was with my husband. Okay. Um, and he did not catch anything. Did not catch it. Did not get sick. Didn't even catch it from me. And you know, we were in close quarters, eating together, chilling, whatnot, all of that good stuff. And he did not catch it. So, um, crazy. But as soon as I, you know, got my positive, well, prior to me getting my positive test, because, you know, I pretty much knew I had it. Um, let me put you guys up on something, because I'm tired of holding this phone. I didn't mean to talk this long. Let me put y'all in this little holder here, okay? But, yeah, as soon as, um, as soon as I pretty much felt like it was COVID, um, you know, him and we parted ways. <laughs> we parted ways, you know. At first, he was like, you ain't got it. You ain't got it, blah, blah, blah. And so, I was like, 
okay, Dr. AB, whatever, stay away from me. <laughs> so he had to be, you know, one area of the house, went far away. And I was, you know, I commandeered the bedroom. I was like, child, if I got to go through this, I'm going to be comfortable. So I stayed in the bedroom and, um, yeah, it was, it's, it's been rough for your girl. It has been rough for your girl. Okay. I mean, my appetite was gone for a good six days. I couldn't even eat nothing. At first, I was kind of like feeling like I didn't have it because I could still smell and taste and everything. But, <coughs> but, um, yeah, apparently that, you know, doesn't happen to everybody. So, <clears throat> once I, you know, found out, got my positive test and everything because I couldn't even get a test when I first was feeling sick. Everywhere out here was out. Everybody was sold out. I couldn't even get an appointment for like four days or whatever. So, um, thankfully, hubby after a couple of days was able to find, you know, some tests or whatever for me to take. And it was like, he took his negative. I took mine. Positive. <laughs> just as positive. Oh, Lord have mercy. It was just like, you know, when you take that test and it's like, yeah, you pregnant, honey. You get ready because in nine months you about to deliver. So anyway, yeah, it was, it's been rough for your girl. So I miss Christmas. I miss New Year's because I was still, still down for the count on New Year's. I think um, New Year's Day which was Saturday, right? That was like day eight for me. And I was kind of feeling, you know, a little bit better. Like I was getting better and stuff. Um, and I was able to, my appetite had started coming back. I was able to eat a little bit. Somebody at my door, hold on. Okay, yeah, that was um, somebody at my door because I had to order some groceries and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> Yeah, so what was I saying? I started to get my appetite back, I think, around New Year's Day. And um, today is Tuesday. I'm filming this on Tuesday the 4th. So, yeah, I started to get a little appetite back. Was still feeling weak, still, you know, whatever. Um, And, which was on Saturday. On Sunday, the 2nd, um, I started feeling a lot better, you know, where, of course, I'm antsy. I want to get up. I want to, you know, like, <laughs> your girl been in jail, <laughs> like jail, jail, okay? Um, so, I'm just like, Lord, this parole board need to release your girl, because, honey, I was going stir crazy, just... You know, because I wanted to be good. I stayed in the room. I didn't roam around the house. I didn't even come in my beauty space, y'all. Because I didn't want to contaminate anything while I was, you know, still contagious. You know, I wasn't going to be playing in my makeup and touching everything. And child, you know. So, I stayed out of here. Stayed out of kit, Stayed out of everywhere. I just stayed in the bedroom. And so, Sunday... Um, I was like, you know what? I want to take a test. I want to take another test because I just want to see. Let me just see <laughs> if it'll be negative, okay? And Lord, child, y'all, look, I'm missing a nail here. My, I need to feel like it ain't nobody's business. Just looking crazy. Y'all have to excuse me, okay? But so, um, you know, hubby was like, just take a test, just take a test. So, you know, you can at least come out the room. So I took a test. Of course, I was just like, man, stressing out. Like, I know it's going to be positive because I'm like, I'm still coughing. Even though I feel fine, I'm like, oh, Marianne's still kicking it with me. And then it was negative. It was like completely negative, not, not even a hint. Not even a whisper, okay? It was completely negative. Man, I wanted to do black backflips through this house. I was so just freaking happy and excited. So that was Sunday. So, of course, 
immediately I stripped the bed, you know, put everything in the wash, started bleaching everything, uh, Lysol, Clorox, wipe down, scrub down, everything, you know, on Sunday, you know, and so it, I'm sure obviously you can still hear hear it in my throat. That's what happens to me when I get sick. My voice lowers about four octaves. And so, um, you know, and I hate it because I'm like, I'm not the deep, sexy voice looking type. It does not fit me or my personality. So I'm like, I need my voice back. But, <coughs> but anyway, yeah, so as you can see, I still have remnants of the cough because um, obviously it affects your throat and stuff. Well, for me, it did. <coughs> and I still can't really sleep well on my back or even on my side, you know, because it constricts my lungs and stuff too much. So anyway, yeah, your girl been down for the count. I haven't just like forgot about you guys or just been like, oh, I'm through vlogging, you know. Christmas is over, went by humbug. Child, I feel like I I literally <coughs> need to do Christmas. And, you know, I was like, because my husband and I are scheduled to go on a cruise next week, okay? So that was nerve-wracking for me, too, because I was like, you know, we're not going to be able to go if I'm still positive, <laughs> Because, you know, you got to test within, you know, what is it, 48 hours of you embarking on the ship and, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, we'll see. I ain't stressing over it. My test was negative. So, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But, yeah, that was a little nerve wracking because, you know, hubby has really, really needed a break. And so he really, really needs this vacation. Bosco! Knock it off! Sure. Anyway, so I'm going to try to get back in the swing of things, you guys. I don't even know. You know, like I said, I'm just, just doing me right now. But yeah, I had started, you know, doing all the cleaning stuff and then I got exhausted. You know, I think I tried to do a little too much too soon on Sunday um, and yesterday, because yesterday was Monday, I was like, okay, you know, I guess this is when my new year's is starting. New year, new me, right? <laughs> it's just, after two years of avoiding that mess, it just came up and just said, hey, what's happening? I'm gonna kick it with you for a minute. So, you know, it got me. It got me, but I truly feel like if I was not vaccinated that it, it would I might not even be talking to y'all I might be in the hospital somewhere because that's how bad it is or it was for me at least so I'm just thankful that I'm here I'm still kicking you know um getting better every day I feel better and have more energy and I'm getting past it and it's all good you know I just wanted to share that with y'all today like I said, it's Tuesday. I just got, you know, some groceries delivered. So I plan on cooking today. Um, I found some pork chops in the freezer. So I think I'm going to make maybe some pork chops and rice, broccoli, something. I don't know. But um, I finished my vision board. I did that while I was sick and um, Skyped. And uh, me and DJ shared our vision boards which was really cool. It was it was really, really cool to do that. I'm really excited about it. I have it up on my wall that I face, you know, all the time. I wish I had somewhere. I might maneuver some stuff so I could put it somewhere a little bit lower, but it's still very visible to me um, where I can see it. And I'm very excited about it. I really am. So got the vision board, got that done. But I'm going to go in here, as sad as it may be for me, because it is going to be sad, take down all my Christmas decorations, because I did get to enjoy them, you know, a bit before Christmas, but 
yeah, it kind of sucks. But anyway, so I'm going to take my decorations down today because it's time. Um, Like I said, do a little cooking. I don't know. I need to run an errand or two, I think. Um, But I might not do that. I, You know, even though I'm on, as far as symptoms go, this would be like day 11, I think. Um, And like I said, my test was negative. So, you know. I'm okay to get out and put my mask on and stuff. <clears throat> but, you know, it's like I'm still conscious of, you know, just other people. And, you know, me having had the ooey. So, um, yeah, so I might get out today or I might wait until tomorrow since I'm supposed to be, you know, going out of town Friday. I only have a few days to take care of things, you know. I need to do my hair, which might not be, get done because, child, um, I need to get my nails done, which I really want to just take them off and start over, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm over it. Uh, so, anyway, I've been talking long enough. I just wanted to come in, say hi to y'all, and I'll just kind of give you an update throughout the day what's happening, okay? So, see y'all in a minute. So you guys, like I said, I had grabbed a few things, ordered a few things from the grocery store, I should say. Um, not, you know, full on groceries. I can't really do that anymore. I have to just buy what I want at the time. Um, I did pick up some rice. So this is just some regular Mahatma rice um, to cook. Since I think I'm making pork chops tonight. And then I also bought some jasmine rice. This is for me. Hubby doesn't really care for jasmine rice, I don't think. Yeah, he just prefers regular rice. So I got me some jasmine rice, though, because I really like jasmine rice. I picked up a couple of boxes of the Zatarans, um Dirty Rice um, for... I don't know if I'm going to make some of this to go with the pork chops or regular rice. And then I also bought red beans and rice, too, so... Just like a different option, just in case I decide I don't want regular rice. Got some cut green beans, of course. Um, I have really been in the mood for like um, cheese, you know, little ghetto charcuterie. I really wanted some fruit, to be honest with you. Um, since being sick, my girl DJ, she sent me some edible arrangements. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um... But because I was sick, I wasn't able to eat all of it. But I um got some grapes, red seedless grapes. And then I got some salami and some pepperonis and some Colby Jack uh, slices so that I can make me like a little ghetto, you know, charcuterie board. And I got some of these sociable crackers. I don't, It's it's so crazy whenever I have like, a taste for cheese and crackers and grapes it just hit oh my gosh it hit so perfect <laughs> so i got that so i can make me a little ghetto charcuterie board and then i grabbed me some sour cream and some cheese because um i also got some chicken breast this is chicken or no chicken thighs you guys i got me some chicken thighs to bake season up and bake because I want to make my own little chipotle bowls so I have rice I'm going to I believe I have some black beans and um tomatoes and what else do they put in there child I don't know but I'm gonna make my own little chipotle bowls so I got some chicken to bake and then I got some broccoli. I always have to have broccoli for whatever reason. I got. I wanted to try these Oreo thins. Hubby loves Oreos, you know, to snack on. If he gets like a sweet tooth, he'll grab a couple of Oreos. So I decided to get these to see if, you know, these will kind of hit the spot for him. You know, fewer calories, thinner, whatever. So I got these. And then I needed some more coffee, so I got me some um, Starbucks Pike Place Roast Chocolate and Toasted Nut. What? I Did I pick that? I didn't even know I picked this chocolate and toasted nut. Child, this better taste good if not. 
I'm going to be mad. So, anyways, I got that. Oh, these cute little coffee glasses. I bought two of them. Um, I got these from Etsy. I saw Andrea Renee on Instagram making some coffee in these. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So, it's a cute little coffee cup. I know this counter is a mess. And then it comes with a little wooden top. Isn't that cute? That's a better view for you guys. But isn't that so cute? They are kind of small. Um, let me show you about the size of them. You know, so it is kind of small. But it's so stinking cute. I thought they came with little bamboo straws. But I guess not. I'll have to order me some. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all that. Super cute since I'm here in the kitchen anyway. So, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to show you guys what I grabbed from the store this morning. And I'm going to put this away. Probably have me a little bagel or something. And then I'm going to take my Christmas decorations down. Oh, I'm so sad. But, honey, it's time. Because I'm, I'm, even though I miss Christmas... I'm tired of looking at them, so yeah, they about to come down. So I'll get back with y'all later. finishing up with my little town my town is almost done but this mess is taking me forever I mean granted I am like running on E because I just started you know putting the stuff away and I really didn't I didn't eat anything I'm like I had a few sips of coffee because I didn't like the way I made my coffee this morning um just because of the way that my mouth tastes and stuff, probably from being sick. I'm probably going to have to use like a no calorie sweetener for a little while because my coffee this morning just, it was too sweet. It was too much. I couldn't do it. So, um, yeah, I'm still doing this and it's like two o'clock. Okay. I mean, granted, I did take a little break. I had a therapy session, which went really, really well. Um, I feel like <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm actually the therapist in the session <laughs> more so than my therapist, but regardless, it went well. Um, but your yeah, girl is really, really hungry. I want to make me, um, that little ghetto charcuterie board that I was talking about earlier with the cheese and the meat and the crackers. So I think I'm going to do that 
and snack on that once I finish. Because I only got two more to do after this. So I think I'm going to do that to snack on um, before. I still have to cook for a couple of hours. Because like I said, it's only like 2.30, I think. So I really don't have to cook until like 4.30. So I'm going to have me a little snack in a minute but I feel good that I went ahead and took um, all the decorations down and stuff because I know after a while it would have really started to bother me so I'm glad that I actually went ahead and did it I feel like I accomplished something today even if that's all I accomplished because I sure was supposed to um, go do an Amazon return at UPS and go to the bank today but I can do that tomorrow. Lord willing, there's always tomorrow, right? I just happened to look outside, y'all. <laughs> Your girl getting a delivery. So anyway, just want to show you guys, we are at factory reset zero. Tree is gone. Decor is gone. Little town is gone. Everything is gone, honey. So we are back at our blank blank canvas for the living room okay so i'm excited all i have to do is dust and vacuum and we get to go got me a little amazon delivery i think if this is what i think it is it's just some um knives that i wanted to order I'll be seeing um, people cutting with these like colorful knives. And I've been like, oh, I want some. So let me see if that's what this is. It is. So I ordered these from Amazon, as y'all saw. Cuisinart Advantage 12-piece ceramic coated knife set. And so it's like these different knives that are ceramic coated. So they're the really pretty colors. So I'm so excited. I get to um, use these. I might use them when I cook tonight. So anyways, I don't remember how much I paid for these. But yeah, there's like different ones in here. 8 inch slicing. 8 inch bread. 7 inch santoku. 6.5 utility. 3.5 pairing. Um, and then this big purple one. Oh, that's the 8 inch chef. So, yep. Y'all know I'm always buying something from Amazon, okay? charcuterie board that I made and it's so good <laughs> it's just the flavors from the salami and the pepperoni and the cheese and the crackers and then you take a little bite of one of these crunchy sweet grapes mm. Mm. I'm making a whole mess but it's so good. Oh, my God. If y'all haven't made your own little ghetto charcuterie board, you got to do it. It's like a bomb little snack. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm. I mean, look how cute. I got my little crackers, my little cheese, my little meats, my little grapes. And these grapes are actually really good right now, you guys. Sometimes, you know, you get it from the grocery store and they be sour. These are nice and sweet and crisp. Okay, so I'm going to enjoy my little ghetto charcuterie board. Okay, <laughs> it's so good. 
Hi you guys, as you can see, I'm on the road this morning. It's Wednesday morning. There's a train coming up here, but I wanted to turn my camera around so you guys could see uh, the snow-capped mountains back there, okay? Straight up snow on these mountains. Um, very, very cool. I love being able to see the snow on the mountains, you know, during the winter time. It's cold and, you know, I live in Cali, so the sun is out bright and shiny, but we still got the snow-capped mountains, so I don't know how long I'm going to be sitting here waiting on this freaking train, but once it goes by, I'll let you guys see the mountains a little bit better if I can. first time leaving the house since the old Marion got me so it's been what a good two weeks a good 14 days since your girl has left the house okay um feeling feeling a lot better today you know I'm still I still feel the little after effects but I'm feeling a lot better today <coughs> um so I just got a few errands to run I gotta go to the bank I gotta go see if I can find some new luggage for Boo because for some reason he just loves dragging around the same old luggage. So I'm gonna go to Marshall's, I think. See if I can find him some luggage just for next week. And what else do I need to do? Ooh, child. These nails. I need to try and get these nails done because I done broke another one yesterday. So they are a hot, hot mess. I really want to just get them taken off. I really do. I really want to just do some press-ons for a minute. But we'll see. We'll see. So, anyways, just run a few errands. Want to check in and say hi. Get my little vibe on right now. And, yeah. Oh, I was supposed to show you guys the um, mountains a little bit better. I'll see if I come across them again. I'll show them to you. But, yeah. It's so, so beautiful. So, check in with y'all later. Ay, ay. Look. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, papa don't preach, teachers don't teach Gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that I'm making that cash day Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quarter on me like a referee Hey, and what they'll never be Small top with a big bottom Yeah, shot is shaped like a letter D Let her have it, then I let her be If you love it, gotta let it grow Crazy cause you really never know When I'm hurting, never let it show I'm a two-tone, two-phone, two-chain New thing, lame with But you a broke, low class, no cash Certified lame I'm mean, getting to it like I ought to Couldn't pick, so I bought two Understand why your chick came I'm just trying to figure why she brought you I'm really repping and I'm flexed up And I ain't gotta tell him I'm next up Sleep on the they rest up, but I'm up and I'm getting my checks up. Me and the fellas be high as propellers, they like could tell us we great. Looking at like, how do you figure unless you could talk about a fix? I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look how we litty, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height I been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they been on all night Sipping this water with somebody daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it Came in this game on that today, ain't in a couple years later, we still on it Be hating on it 
waiting on it like a new season. I better egg on it. I put some paper on it like I'm loose leafing. Buying them assets. Build me a cash net, I could fall in. Look at my last bit. Ain't got a tiptoe, I'm all in. Nick on a the level that can't fail, and I roll me a J with the hate mail. Been doing good on the merch sale. All this bread on me look like a bake sale. Tell her your what's really good. I'll be really good on a jaw jack. Send an email about the bread, I'ma hit you back with the car back. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Man, yeah, when I tell y'all that Marshalls didn't have anything in there, it looked like they are literally about to close up shop. It was so weird. Like, so many empty shelves. They didn't have a lick of luggage. And usually, their luggage is, like, ridiculous. They have so much luggage. So many bags. But I don't know. I guess since it's... But that's so weird. I don't know. Maybe it got bought up for the travel season, the holiday season or something. But they didn't, they didn't have no luggage, which is crazy. Because usually they have it all over the place. So anyway, I think I might make one more stop, like at Ross, and see if I can find something. As y'all can see, I got a new dog bed for Bosco and um, a sign that says blessed. I love having signs that say blessed and some big old green Ugg house shoes, y'all. I don't know. Talk about just be buying stuff, okay? I thought they was cute. And they probably way too big. But anyway, got those for $29. And a kettlebell. I've been wanting a kettlebell for the longest. That one is only 8 pounds, but child's heavy enough, okay? So, I'm gonna go to Ross and see what's happening. Ay, ay. Look. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, papa don't preach, teachers don't teach Gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quarter on me like a referee Hey, and what they'll never be Now y'all, I'm coming in here just to look for luggage I ain't even looking at nothing else, honey Looking for luggage, and I'm going on. Ay, ay. Look. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, the luggage situation is bleak. But I went ahead, I called Hubby, asked him if he wanted that white one, and he said yes. Yeah. So at least he got a you know a nice big, big piece of luggage to use next week. I know I said I wasn't looking at nothing else, but I did mosey over to the little spice aisle or whatever. And I picked up a couple of spices to try. This one is roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. So that's what that one looks like. I don't know if you can see. It's like super. I'm in the sun. I'll probably show you guys later. I also got this one, which is rosemary, garlic, and shallot. So I got this one too. I like trying different seasonings, you know, on my chicken or fish. And then I grabbed this Tarani sugar-free peach i love peach flavor anything no ask me what i'm gonna do with that but i'm gonna figure out something to do with it because it looks tasty so um 
yeah, maybe this year I'll practice or try out some new drink mixes or something. Who knows? You know, they don't have to be alcoholic, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm going to head over to the nail shop and decide if I'm just going to get these mugs taken off or if I'm going to get them done. We'll see when we get there. Y'all, do y'all see these little Ugg shoes? These are so cute. Oh my gosh, they so cute. And they so comfortable. Like, yeah. I'm so glad I got these. <laughs> I know what Aaron see these. He gonna be like, what in the world is that on your feet? Get y'all, these mugs is comfortable. They comfortable. They was on, oh, how much was these? 29? I'm glad I grabbed them. Shoot, they cute. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. 